This is the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, and I'm very excited to try this out because last year's S20 FE was a very interesting phone and actually I think served a really good um, middle ground between the mid-range and the flagship lineup that Samsung had, and I really liked the compromises it made. So let me go ahead and open this up and give you guys a look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Now, the one thing about this phone that really did confuse me is how similar it is to the S21. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the box and talk about it a little bit more once I have the phone out of the box. So lift off the box and right here front and center, the phone. Uh, let me go ahead and lift up the phone out of the box. Oh boy, all right. Um, let me go ahead and put this off to the side for a second. Let's see what else we get inside the box. Um, not a lot, to be honest. Uh, there's this one box underneath. There's a SIM card eject tool. And let me go ahead and open up this flap and see what else we get. We get a USB-C to, is it C? Yeah, a USB-C to C cable. And one quick start guide in terms and condition books. So pretty minimal on the packaging, but honestly, uh, pretty much become the norm at this point. So not surprised or... Honestly, I didn't expect anything different either. So let me go ahead and put this off to the side and let's take a look at the phone itself. So I did go for the white one this time around. Um, and I will tell you this right off the bat, this phone definitely feels way uh, thicker than the S21 is. Um, so let me go ahead and lift off, take off this plastic, um, which is weirdly enough not so there's a pull tab right here, but if you take, if you pull the pull tab, that's not how you open it. It's actually the side flap that you have to open first. That's a weird take on this. So there we go. And boom. So the one thing I am noticing is the back is way more subdued than it is on the S21. So the S21 had that multicolor accent. Um, and I, it was a definitely love it or hate it feature. And I kind of liked it. I know a lot of people didn't, but um, so this is what it really, it, it looks very identical except for having that highlight. So the sides are definitely a little bit different. And before I do anything else, there is a bunch of plastic on here that I should probably get rid of. Um, Samsung always pretty much envelops the frame of the phone with plastic, which I'm not a fan of. Um, the less you have these plastics, the better in my opinion. But let's go ahead and get rid of them. And there are um, what I, I believe to be 5G antenna cutouts right here on this side of the phone and right here as well. Um, not sure why there's two of them. I've never really seen the antennas this prominent. Um, usually it's just way more simple. So that's the sides and there's all the plastic off. So let me just go give you a physical overview of the phone. So this is the front, um, a flat display. And there is a slightly curved glass edge on there, which I'm like not the biggest fan of, but um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. The side is an aluminum frame um, and it's, it's nice and thick. It is a thicker phone than the S21, it is for sure. The back has this, um, it's not glass, but it does um, have a glass-ish look. Uh, it's matte white uh, on this white version and it looks pretty good. I actually like the matte white finish. It's a very subtle but um, sleek look. I will say that um, the finish on the S21 definitely feels, S21 FE feels way more plasticky than the S21 did. The S21, honestly, I could have confused it for glass, like a matte glass, but this is, this is way easier to tell, okay, this is a plastic back. And even if you tap on it, like that, that does sound like plastic. So not a big surprise there. So let me go ahead and just um, turn on the phone and see what the display looks like. I'm probably gonna have to set it up. So in that case, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, set this phone up, use it for a little bit, come back and give you guys what my initial impressions and thoughts are on the Galaxy S21 FE. All right, so I just spent the last couple of hours messing around with the Galaxy S21 FE, getting a feel for it, and most importantly, comparing it side by side to the Galaxy S21. And let me start off and let's talk about the way it feels in the hand. And right off the bat, it does feel way thicker. Um, it doesn't feel extremely heavy uh, in comparison. There is a very minute uh, weight difference between the two, but it's just the thickness definitely just adds to the bulk of the phone, if that makes any sense to you guys. So that is one of the things I noticed right off the bat. Another thing that I noticed is that the 
screen is very similar in size. It's only a 0.2 inch difference between the two. Um, and the thing though is that this just physically feels bigger even though it's not that much bigger. And I realize it's a couple of things. It's one that just there's more bezel here. So the S21 has uh, smaller bezels all around compared to this. And another thing I've noticed is that the camera cutout is actually a little bit um, bigger on the S21 FE, the front camera, compared to the S21 uh, F. So the S21 FE camera is what I was saying, front camera, is bigger. The, uh, the punch hole is bigger than it is on the S21. So that's another thing I noticed that was interesting. And physical-wise, they're, they're pretty similar, honestly. There's not a lot to defer them. Um, you could confuse one from the other if you were a couple feet away, but there are a few differences, mainly being that the, uh, that this camera cover now is, does not have that accent and it's not metal. It is the same kind of plastic material that is the rest of the back of this phone. Um, there are two really big, what I'm assuming are antenna cutouts on both sides for, um, I'm going to guess the 5G. I can't be sure. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, but that's what it is and other than that pretty much the same thing the placement of the volume button and power button are very similar um, The bottom has the uh, sim card uh, Sorry the sim card uh, sim card slots the USB-C charging port and the uh, speaker grills as well Both of them do have stereo speakers and both of them actually do sound very similar and before I get into that Let's talk about the ultrasonic and the optical fingerprint sensor the s21 fe does not have an ultrasonic one it has the uh, more traditional-ish um, in-display fingerprint scanner, which is the uh, optical scanner. So the speed of it is pretty much exactly the same as this one. So uh, if I just have them both on the lock screen and I do it, you'll see that they pretty much unlock at the same time. So there's not really that much of a difference on either one of them, whichever way you go. Uh, I'll just do that one more time for you guys to see with the screen unlocked. So pretty much identical speed. So really, you there's nothing that you have to worry about on either end. They both are equally as fast and the one thing I might say is that I do like the positioning of the S21's uh, fingerprint scanner a little bit better. It's a little bit higher so it feels a little bit more natural to where your thumb rests compared to the S21 FE which is way lower um, almost at the very very bottom end of the phone. So that is one of those few differences and the display. So both of them have a um, 1080p display and both of them have 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, I did, I, so when you're watching video, they seem very similar. The one thing, the one area I did notice a little bit of a difference was that text seems just a little bit sharper on the S21 um, compared to the S21 FE, but otherwise really you will struggle to tell a difference. They both look and perform very similarly. I will say the one thing I do really like is that the S21 has a very flat glass on the front, which I very much prefer compared to the more rounded glass on the edges of uh, the S21. Uh, of course, the camera won't pick it up, but that is something I noticed. So uh, the other thing I was talking about a little bit earlier, but I cut myself off on was the speaker. So both of them have, both of these phones have stereo speakers and both of them get equally as uh, loud. Actually, the S21 FE gets a little bit louder, um, just a tiny bit. Again, you just have to hear them back to back to even tell there's a difference. But what I did notice is that when I had them side by side is that the S21 was slightly louder. Um, sorry, the S21 FE was slightly louder, but the S21 had a little bit more quality. So that's enough for the S21 uh, comparisons because I'll come back to that. What I think about the rest of the phone, it's really good. I think that so far I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. The only question is, is that um, how exactly does, does this differentiate itself from the S21? So that's something that I'm going to have to figure out as I get to use this phone even more. Overall, I think that look-wise, feel-wise, I'm initially, I think my impressions are pretty positive on this phone. Um, a couple of days of usage will give me a much better picture. Uh, I did test out the camera there. Uh, I'll put up a couple of samples. Uh, looks pretty decent so far. I'm going to have to, again, do a little bit more of a side-by-side -side comparison. They're, the cameras on the back are a 12 megapixel uh, main shooter. Uh, I believe there's an 8 megapixel telephoto and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide again. Uh, the combinations might be wrong. If they're wrong, I will put them up on the screen what the exact ones are. But if uh, I don't, that means it was the right one. So that's the camera setup. And then the front camera is actually a 32 megapixel camera, uh, which is way higher than the uh, S21, in fact. And even the quality of the photos is noticeably better on the S21 FE compared to the S21 when the front camera is involved. The detail is just... A night and day difference. I, I still don't understand why the S21 FE has a better front camera than the S21 and the S20 FE had a better camera than the S20. Uh, it's just something weird that Samsung does. It doesn't make sense to me but that is what it is. So 
Overall, as I said, very impressed with uh, phones on an initial impression. I'm not sure if I can recommend it just yet. It's gonna take me a little bit more time, a little bit more um, just testing to tell you guys what I'm truly thinking about this phone. But uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the S21 FE you want me to answer, if there's any uh, comparisons you want me to make with the S21 in particular, because that will be a whole video on its own for sure. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links to this and the S21, both down in the description if you wanna buy these phones. I'll have them linked uh, on Amazon. So you, whenever you help, whenever you click those links, they really help the channel. So I very much so appreciate when you do that. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes of the testing and everything else. I'll have the handles on the screen and of course, linked down in the description as well. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more S21 FE content, a lot more coming, especially that comparison with the S21. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.